Hassan Jones, Florida State's leading receiver, ineligible for tonight's game. Thus, his career is over. And here's Bobby Bowden's explanation of the situation. Well, it was an unfortunate thing where we violated a NCAA rule about your tickets. Uh, you can only give tickets to your family or other students. And uh, we felt like uh, Hassan was kind of set up on a doggone thing. Uh, some, some, some boosters from another university came in and wanted to buy some tickets from Hassan, and uh, he got some from for them. And that's a violation, and uh, it cost uh, him his eligibility in this ballgame. The other university is the University of Florida. The other man in question was Robin Fisher, a former player in Florida who procured 10, make it 12 tickets from Jones at $100 a copy. In violation of the rules, Florida State thus declared him ineligible, kept the NCAA apprised, and he's out of the game. Ferguson, meanwhile, finds number three, Herb Gaynor, at midfield for a first down, and thus far, he has been making up for the absence of Jones by going to White twice and Gaynor. Ferguson going for the end zone, looking for Gaynor. Some bumping, some shoving, and he makes the catch off the deflection for the touchdown. the coverage but as the ball pops up in the air it's Gaynor who comes down with a 39 yard touchdown reception watch the concentration at the end of the play here by Gaynor as Denise Williams appears to have the ball momentarily it pops out of his hands and right there is Gaynor to pick it away for the touchdown and the first touchdown of the night. So with Hassan Jones ineligible with Holloman injured their top two receivers it's Gaynor, who all season long caught five passes, making the catch here for the touchdown. He's running a straight fly pattern here, and he looks back, and watch because it appears momentarily that Williams has an interception, but the ball bounces off his chest, and with alertness there, Herb Gaynor, number three, plucks the ball away and falls backward into the end zone for a touchdown. Second and 10 from the 19-yard line. To throw again for the end zone. Touchdown. Herb Gaynor. Because of their depleted receiving core, Herb Gaynor coming into the game had caught five passes all year. That is his sixth pass of the night. Second touchdown. And he does it with an excellent move. He starts to the outside, sells the move to the inside, breaks back to the corner, and with perfect timing, and really a touch on the ball there. Herb Gaynor, whose numbers are reflected right there, is having an incredible night. A sophomore, 6'2", 187, in isolation here. Watch the key, and that is how he sells his move to the post. There it is. Little move to the inside. Breaks back to the outside. Coverage by Mark Bourne, number 44. Clearly beats him to the outside. And now the man on the right is Hassan Jones, who was suspended because of that ticket situation to which we referred several times tonight. The great receiver. And he's pointing to his new main man. Herb Gaynor doing the job. Busy ever. Florida State, of course, having a receiver tradition dating back to the days of Fred Belitnikoff, Sellers, Rhett Dawson, Barry Schmidt, Mike Schumann, Jackie Flowers, Ouija Thompson, Jesse Hester, and, of course, Hassan Jones. Not bad.